Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Monday the 25th of January. We have new mods and we have some updates. The updates are as follows. From top left, the Ischia Farm map by Black Eyes Modding, the Ermo Hurricane by SMO Modding Team, the Morangon Foldbar 6.16, which was the New Holland Foldbar by SMI Modding Team, the TLX 9000 Semi by Zanarko 82 Squared, the Art Mechanic Transport Cattle Pack by Vanquish081, the Lizard D50 D55 Pack by Castan18, the Lizard D633 by Castan18, the TCM Runner Pack by TCM, the Brick Shed Pack Italian Style by Black Eyes Modding, the Sheep Pasture by BGamer003, the Grain Silo Set with Multi Fruit by Top Ace888, that has now included the silos, multi fruit silos will take bales, and the Multi Filling Station by Edge Gaming have all had updates today. So in front of me I have got the John Deere 2660 VT Disc, this is by LR Modding, 21.38 megabytes download and 18 slots on console. It's a 9 meter disc harrow with cage rollers on the back. Nicely detailed, fairly high on the slot count and the megabyte download I guess. It seems to be the John Deere thing doesn't it? Must be the paint. Anyway, this you'll find. Other tools and disc arrows, 20,000 to buy, 9 metre width, requires 250 horsepower to pull and it will run at 12 miles per hour. There are no options available, you get it as it is. Nice unfold animation. There you go. Cultivating out to 9 metres, 12 miles now. Does its job. The sad thing there was going to fold up then. It's that thing, isn't it, that when you're trying to do a job and you want something to happen quicker, it's like, oh, I wish that would speed up. But it's more realistic. You know, these things with the hydraulics, it takes a while to fold them up. So there you go. That's the first of the mods. It's John Deere 2660 VT Disc by LR Modding. Moving on. We've got this. This is the Lizard 200 Sprayer. This is 2.2 megabytes download, it's two slots on console, it's by Adub Modding ABP team. It's a 6 metre liquid fertiliser or herbicide sprayer. Fairly basic in its construction and its design, it holds 600 litres I think. Pretty sure it does. This you'll find in the mod hub under tools and crop protection. There you go. 400 to buy, 600 litres, the Lizard 200. 6 metre spread width, runs at 7 miles per hour and it will do, like I said, liquid fertiliser or herbicide. Obviously not both at the same time. Oh yeah, that's a point. I don't think there are any options for that as far as I recall. No. Doesn't fold up. Comes like that. Turn it on. You can raise and lower it if you want to. Small field applications or if you're doing herbicide for weeds, if you're doing spot application for weeding, it's safe to take a massive weeder out or a massive fertilizer or liquid fertilizer or herbicide sprayer. If you're doing small patches, it's kind of you know pretty handy bit of kit that. So there you go. That's the Lizard 200 sprayer by Adub Modding and ABP team. Let's drop that down. Next up, we have got the Rausch. Is Rausch ZSA 580. This is under 
fertiliser technology, we'll do lime and solid fertiliser. Again, fairly small one. Nicely detailed, the decals, like you get right up close. Very, very nice, crisp detail on it. It's only a small one. Again, it's not for you know, massive builds and build work and that kind of thing. This is 3.98 megabytes download and four slots on console. This is by Kopi. You'll find this under fertilizer technology. There you go. 25 horsepower required, 800 litre tank. It'll run at 11 miles per hour, a nine metre spread. We've got the main colour, a selection of sort of rust reds. Like so. Turn it on. We've got lime in this one, but there you go. Nice animation, does the job. As you would hope. That's the Roush ZSA 580 by Kopi. Moving on from there, we've got this. Got quite a few small things today. Right, we're moving on to the bigger stuff in a minute. This is the, I always get this wrong, shoot, mark, scooter marker. Um, where's it on my list? SMS 3000, this is by Marsland Mods. 5.24 megabytes download, six slots on console. It's a muck spreader, but it also has the options in the Mods Hub to change this, or the store menu to change it to a trailer, if you want to have it in a trailer form. It's 3,750 litres. I think this spreads out to, I want to say four metres, but we'll double check it. Again, nicely detailed, does the job. This you'll find under manual spreaders. 8,000 to buy, 35 horsepower required. Yeah, it'll run out to four metres, nine miles per hour. Now, it says 4,000 litres there. That's if you have it in trailer form. Well, it's 3,750 for manure. But anyway, it takes all those things if you have it as a trailer. So, options available. We can have the manure spreader, 3,750 3, litres. You can have it as a 4,000 litre trailer, which would take all those things we just saw. Or you can have it as an open batch trailer, like that. We can have decals old or decals new. Then standard wheel set up, another standard or a big chunky flotation kind of wide tired version. Those are your options. There you go. Spreading your muck out to four meters. Like so. That's by Marsland Mods. Next, we've got these. We've got the Randon Pack LSR line, and we've got the Randon uh, Bitrem Long Bulk Carrier Line R. Uh, both sets of these are by Eric Isaac and Agro Mods. The first set, the Randon Pack LSR line, are 13.4 megabytes download. This one is nine slots, and this one is nine slots. Slightly different capacities. That one is a triple axle with the third axle being able to be lowered. That one is a four axle with these ones able to be lowered. And then the other pack is one that joins them together. So you've got a front section with a, a fifth wheel on it and the rear section. Um, that one is the Bitrem Long Bolt Carrier Line R. 14.37 megabytes download, seven slots for the front section and six slots for the rear. We'll kind of have a look at all of them at the same time sort of really nicely made nicely detailed capacities are good this one i think is a 67000 that one's a 72000 liter that front one's a 45 and i think that one's a 67 but you can have any of these as a, a bulk carrier or you can have it as a flatbed bale trailer or pallets or ibcs or whatever else you want to put on there um, to strap down as an option so these you'll find under tools and trailers. So the first one was the Vandelaer uh, bulk carrier R line, 87 grand to buy. That was nine slots, 67,000 liters. We'll take all of those crop types. We can change the rim color. I think the rim colors and color choices are pretty much the same across all of these. We've got a chrome, we've got a chrome two, we've got a silver metallic, 
black chrome and then we're on to the regular sorry then we're on to the regular rim colors or we're on to regular color palette i guess is the best way of putting it main color that's the standard original and then we've got various different ones with satins and chromed colors we go like that we've got a sort of chromed finish uh next one up on that is the satin And each of these has the same options, a, fl a more flat colour and a more matte colour. And there are quite a few to choose from. Capacity, 67,000 litres or the bell loading wagon. Then you've got the option of a short mud guard, which is individuals, or long mud guard, which puts one right the way across the whole back. And those options are pretty much the same on all of them. The difference is on that one, the four axle bolt carrier, the capacity goes up to 72,000 litre, so it's 72,000 litre or flat. And then we've got the two that go together, the long bolt carrier. That one is a 60, oh, 62, not a 67. 62,000 litre or flat, and then that one is 45,000 litre or flat. But the colour options and wheel options, all those things are the same across all four of those. They do have the option for... I think it's rear load left and right. There's no grain door option, if I recall correctly. Big old units. Cover open, and it wraps the cover up and kind of folds it across the middle. Mud guards flapping across the back. L1 and X raises or lowers. The raceable or lowerable axle and as you can see all that weight is now on the back of the, uh, the lorry if I lower that down it takes that pressure off that rear axle just raise it up a little bit so it takes a bit of pressure off that fifth wheel because it's, it's, a, it's a bolt carry it takes a lot of stuff unloading L1 R1 and unload doesn't tip it pours so for any of those cell points triggers silos where when you've got a big trailer like this that tips can cause you problems with hitting the, the ceiling the roof that's um sort of alleviates that problem the other one the blue one is exactly the same as that it's just the 72,000 liter and then we've got these two here so the front section the rear section separate now you could use this front section with one of the other ones so you could use this front section at 45,000 litres with the 72,000 litre rear one. It's just a fifth wheel attacher. At the end of the day, it's just a trailer attacher. So you can kind of mix and match all of these or mix and match them with other trailers. It's entirely up to you what you want to do. I suppose that is the only concern with that. It does put them quite close. So when you're turning, they're going to hit into each other, aren't they? Or do they miss? No, it looks like they miss actually pretty close but so the front one cover open exactly the same that one's just empty they are a uh, yeah, nice set of trailers and the fact you can have them as a flat bed as well for bales and stuff if you want to very very versatile uh, these also have the raisable and lowerable axle if we go to the rear one do that that does both those at the same time you notice how much weight that lifts off of there a whole lot raises up well hang on. quite considerably there you go so the uh, Randon pack LSR line and Bitrem long bolt carrier line R by Eric Isaac and agro mods moving on we have got these this is the PTS 4 and 5 Burlack Pack. It's by FSSA Modding Team. 27.5 megabytes of download. 19 slots for that one. 18 slots for this one. The reason I've gone for and that's this different configuration. The configurations are the same on both of these types of trailers. That's a swivel front axle. And that is a solid bar across the front so it doesn't swivel they do hook up they have trailer attaches on the back so you can daisy chain these trailers together 
very very nicely detailed very crisp mod but the reason I was showing you was if you go for this the largest capacity in either of them that makes that into a forage trailer only so it'll only do your straw and your grass and hay and wood chips and those kind of things it won't do everything whereas if you go up to the maximum of this one it will take pretty much everything it's always worth checking on the trailers because sometimes you get the larger bulk ones will take everything sometimes they will only do your forage crops so it's worth having a look so these you also find on the trailers so we've got the two pts four slash five and that's the swivel axle one 3500 to buy and that one was 19 slots options available we can change the design color which has the chassis like so main color we've got the option of three different blues then rim color we've got a few different options there with grays light grays blacks and other blues however you want to go about it then capacity 5150 liters that will take everything 10,030 will take everything then when you go up to that one at 14,780 that's when it just becomes a forage trailer then you've got a bail loading option and back to normal wheel setup we've got standard a wide and a second wide and then back to standard and that's the same on this one the PPTS 4 slash 5 is 3000 that one's 18 slots again same options for color design capacity like so and we'll set up these you can have tip on I think it's tip left right and rear I know it's a very big tractor to, to be pulling these, but. So if I switch to the front one, just open up my help menu, my side panel, tip side back, tip side left, tip side right. Nice animation. And if I switch to the rear one, tip side back. Like so. Nice set of trailers. The PTS 45 Burlack Pack by FSSA Modding Team. Next, we've got this. This is the Brazilian Mega Silo. This is by Lost Gamer. 10.1 megabytes download, 12 slots on console. It's got a 5 million litre capacity and it's a multi fruit silo, so it will hold everything. It is huge with the big old grain leg in the middle going out to all the different bins. Input into the silo system there, output from the silo system here. I mean, it is, it is more realistic in so much as if you've got a 5 million litre capacity cooperative grain bin site, that kind of thing. It's a lot of silos. I know we've got a lot of mods that say they take sort of 5 million, 10 million litres, and it's one silo. So this is a bit more realistic when you think about it. What's very nice about this as well, which I like, is you've got this completely curved domed cover section here. So if you do bring a large trailer in that does tip, you've got loads of room for that to swing up and tip inside here, which is a rather nice feature. It is huge. Like I say, it is multi-fruit. I just thought I'd bring a trailer and just say, realise this one doesn't tip, does it? But it doesn't matter. We've got a toll mix ration, which it should take. Just to prove it works. I don't know why I need to prove it works, but... This you'll find under placeables and silos. 250,000 to buy for 5 million litre capacity. Pretty cool. You are going to need a really big open space and it needs to be as flat as you can possibly make it, otherwise your uh, landscaping fees might be quite a lot. Nicely detailed, nicely textured. Nice mod, that, by Lost Gamer. Moving on. We have got the Le Grand Stro Super. Super. 6.2 megabytes download, 7 slots on console. This is by MA7, My7 Farmer. This is a straw 
shelter, silo. You can put machinery equipment. It has a concrete floor, so you can put crops and things on the on the floor if you want to, with sides. Nicely detailed, nicely textured. Only seven slots, which is pretty good. It is a nice size. I like the fact it's very high as well. So you can get some big machinery harvesters, those types of things in it as well. This you'll find under placeables and sheds. 22,500 to buy. Not much else to say, really. It's a shelter. It does its job. Nice bit of kit. I don't think there's, there are lights. I think they're automatic. I don't think there are any lights, are there? No. I'm not sure. I don't think there are. But there you go. That's by MA7 and my 7 Farmer. Moving on. We've got this. Now this is a little... This is why I wanted to talk about this one as well. This is can be a bit confusing. I'll say. This is the large farm silo. 7.36 megabytes download. 14 slots on console. This is by OR Modding. Tip in is here. Collect out is here. Fairly straightforward. No problem at all. Nicely detailed, nicely textured, not a bad size. This you'll find are the placeables and silos. But in here, it says big silo, multi-fruit. But don't be confused by that. It's not a multi-fruit silo. Standard crop types. Um, I'm not quite sure why it's come up as big silo, multi-fruit. 175,000 to buy, 220,000 litre capacity. Takes your main crop types. Um, 14 slots to place for that silo which brings me on to the last of the mods for today and this is going to be a bit of an interesting one and it's these this these this is the forage harvester pack this is by black eyes modding and this is to go with the update we had earlier for ishkia farm 22.17 megabytes download Slot counts vary, and I'll tell you what the slot counts are in a minute. Now, this pack comes with two converted forage harvesters and four, as you can tell, that's not a forage harvester header, that's a corn header. Um, this is for doing corn mash. Now, I'm going to have to switch over to another map in a moment to show you that because I wasn't going to show you, but I will, I think, because it's only fair that you sort of see the mod in action. It also goes to show as well the potential for what, what can be done in game. We've had a few different crop types, we've had grapes and all sorts of things that do prove these things can be done and can be modded and can be changed. So in this pack, let's say two forage harvesters, four corn headers, which will do corn mash. They can also, the forage harvesters can be used to do normal forage harvesting. So if you get this pack and you get one of them, you can have the option to do one or the other, which we'll have a look in just a second. So, under vehicles and forage harvesters the two that have been added are the fr780 and the big x1180 have been modded and they will do corn mash we can change the rim color we can change the wheel setup but more importantly configuration so standard will be a regular forage harvester but if you switch it onto configuration for corn mash that's when it will be doing the corn mash harvesting, which we're going to hopefully see in just a moment. Rim colour, it's black or white. And then we'll set up, we've got standard or wides as an option. And then the Big X 1180, now that one is 14 slots, that one's 34. So again, standard or corn mash option. We've got Mitas, Trelleborg, Michelin and back. Wide, narrows. Trelleborg, wide and standard, say narrow, sorry, wide and standard, and the Michelin, wide and standard. Pipe, standard or long on the Chrome Big X1180. Now, as far as the headers go, those are under tools, but they're under corn headers, so not under forage harvester headers. Because it's doing corn mash, they are a corn header. So we've got the regular headers, come further along, and we've got these four here. So actually, we'll start with the small one. We've got the Capello Quasar F4 which is 11 slots. We've got the Diamond HS8, which is 12 slots. We've got the Diamond HS12, which is 13 slots. And then we've got the Quasar HS16, which is, I think that was 12 slots as well. So 13, 12, 12, 11. And these are specifically designed for doing corn mash. Now it does say there, sunflower and corn, 
but these are the corn mash headers. We can change the color to anything on those, so we can change the configuration depending on what we're using. But these are corn mash headers. So those are the options. This is the machine. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a forage harvester. It looks exactly the same, works exactly the same, sounds exactly the same. But what we're going to do now, hopefully, fingers crossed, is switch over to Ishkia Farm. Oh, that was the other thing I was going to say. When I downloaded this forage harvester pack, it automatically downloaded the Ishkia Farm map. Now that's 288.45 megabytes on top of the 22.17 for this. Now the reason I wasn't going to kind of really look at it in detail, it's a very niche mod. Because as it stands at the moment, this only works on Ischia Farm, because Ischia Farm has been updated to do corn mash. On this map, map on Bigfield Farm, there are no trailers that will take corn mash. There's nothing that says it will. So I'm assuming on Ischia Farm, because I haven't been on it quite yet, that there'll be trailers and things available and that it will all work fine. If map makers, the same as the, the factories, packs and those kind of things, want to put the coding in to get it to work, they can, in which case this then could be more viable on more maps. But at the moment, it's only viable on one map for console, um, and that's just gear farm. So I'm going to cut over to there now. So here we are on Ischia Farm. If I didn't say before, this is by Black Eyes Modding. Um, and Ischia Farm is also by Black Eyes Modding. We have a corn crop. We have got one of the corn mash harvesters, corn mash header. And as I said about the trailers, now this will be specific to this map and any other maps then that get converted over to use this particular mod. If we go into look at, for example, sugarcane technology, if we get to the trailers, they have the corn mash little logo there. Now it does say raw, so I'm wondering whether actually it can be harvested before it's ready, you know what I mean, harvested in its green stage maybe, because it does say raw there, or whether it gets processed on the map somewhere. Um, but then if we go up to trailers, and we go across, let's find one that's not... There we go. So you've got the same symbols there to say that we'll take the corn mash. And then if we come back out, and we go to the cell points, go across there, and it's got the, on this one, the green grocer and the ranch will take corn mash, and the prices are pretty good for corn mash. But like I said, it is very niche because it is specific to this particular map at the moment. It's going to be interesting to see a corn header used on a forage harvester. Let's turn it on. We are getting a completely different powder, colour, coming out the back. That is corn mash. Addendum. On the changelog for Ischia Farm, the map itself, it says to produce the corn mash, the corn must be harvested with the special forest harvester. We've just done that. Um, but it's raw. So for it to be turned into corn mash you can sell, as I've just found out here, it has to be placed into a special trench available among the placeables and compacted and covered just like silage. So, on Ischia Farm's map under silos, there is a bunker silo, large, for corn mash. You need to place one of those, you put the corn mash into it, compact it, cover it. Over a period of time, it will go from raw corn mash to fer fermented, I guess, fermented corn mash, and then you can sell it. I should have put that in earlier. It also explains why that didn't want to sell. Is corn mash what's used for making like corn liquors and stuff like that? I suppose it must be, doesn't it? it goes in a mash tun the same as... Is that what, it's, what it is for? But anyway, um, I know this is a very quick clip. I just wanted to show you it being used. The fact that it, it is there. I didn't want to put it as the thumbnail and then we'll go, oh, we, we didn't even see it, you know. So at the moment, Ischia Farm, this is where you can use it. it again, it's proving that point that it can be done. The argument then is, should these things be done by default? Should, should these not be in-game anyway? The coding changed in the base game so that we can have all these sorts of things anyway? Because quite clearly, it can be done. But there you go. Corn mash harvesting. Who knew? I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. 
And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.